Welcome to Ace Attorney Theatre. Today we have a crazy courtroom drama like no other. It's a tale that could have happened sometime, somewhere. But certainly not in our world. How does it differ from our usual crazy trials, you ask? Oh, well, I'm afraid I don't know. All I do know is, don't take this too seriously. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Now, it's asinine attorney time! Bills, bills. Oh, not bothering with those. Eviction notice? What the devil does that mean? Hmm? Oh, what is this? Lovely! I've been waiting for this. My new passport. I can finally travel to Austria-Hungary. Franz Ferdinand has been awaiting my rifle. Huh? My name. Herlock Sholmes? What is this tomfoolery? Holmesies! Iris! Can you believe this nonsense? They misspelled my name! What am I not paying these taxes for? About that, uh, well, so the Conan Doyle estate reviewed my latest book about you and then they made me sign a contract, so I did, and then I signed even more paperwork. There was a Russian guy, his name was, um, Villain, I believe, and there was a gun and I think you lost the rights to your name. I heard the news. I ran all the way from Japan. Susie, why didn't you take the train? What's a train? Enough Ace Attorney references. This is absurd. They stole the rights to my name. And wait a minute, it's your fault. I'm sorry. How are people going to know that you're the star of Miss Iris' serial? I don't bloody know. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Hmm. You know, perhaps. Hmm. Are you going to say something? I'm sure it'll be a delightful deduction. We could take the estate to court. Oh, but he's not here. Unless... Aha! There it is! What?! You're going to take legal action against them?! That I am, my dear Wilson. I shall start preparing a case for you at once. Quite right. Those bastards think they own my deductions. All of this is so terribly exciting. It shall make the most excellent story. If you need to take notes during this case, let me assist you. Very good, Miss Mikotoba. Off to send them this legal notice. I've been walking for far too long. There are no mailmen in sight. What about the mailbox outside your flat? I want this trial to start today, Iris. The mail cycle is absolutely ludicrous and wholly insufficient. What am I not paying these taxes for? Hey, there's a mailman right down the street. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Excuse me, good sir. Could you deliver this to the Conan Doyle estate without delay? Excuse me, you bloke. I oh, have places to be downtown, you know. Oh, you must be delivering mail to all of the poorer folk. Even though I myself have no money. Uh, excuse me? I'm not a mailman. I'm a loyal employee of the Altamont Gas Company. I must have been mistaken. Miss Mikotoba, you was pulling my leg this whole time. Why have you begun to speak like this gentleman here? What are you doing? Why are you wasting good time like this? That does not matter. What does matter is some mistakes were made, and they had to be cleaned up. It isn't personal, I assure you. Hey, just do what he says. He's a legendary detective. A detective, eh? Oh, and I'm the queen. 
Uh... Well, this hasn't been going well. But please, my good sir, please! If you need more gas in the lamps in your quarters, I'd be more than happy to get to it. Altamont Gas, the most honest in all the land! Sir, did you say... Gas? Oh, heavens! Good girl! What's with all this tomfoolery? I'll deliver whatever you need! And do you, Pinky, promise? It's not long before I stop being nice. Yes, on behalf of Altamont Gas, I will make your delivery request. I knew you were a good man. Where did you need this mail to go to again? Bone and Croyal Restraint, was it? No, you buffoon! Send this legal notice to the Conan Doyle estate. And do not make a mistake. And don't even think about getting the authorities involved. We will find you. And we will kill you. F***ing hell, man! And now what should we do, Holmesies? Now, Wilson, my dear. We head to the courtroom. And wait. The court is now in session for the trial of Isabella Cantabella, eh? The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Everybody get out! My trial is way more important than yours. How about that, eh? Indeed. Hmm. Object! Go on, go on. Wait, your clothes look so strange. And you look familiar. Do I know you? I could have sworn. Get out of here! Right then. Uh, goodbye. In the name of Her Majesty the Queen, we declare this court is now in session. It's unusually frigid during this time of year. Has anyone noticed that? I haven't been paying the slightest attention. I could have frostbite right now. But after the experience I just had, my body has warmed up significantly. From embarrassment, that is. What took you so long? I believe I was in the wrong courtroom. This is not going to be a simple trial. Representatives of the estates are here. And the judge told me I could not bring my bazooka inside. It's quite all right, ladies. We'll win this one. For the Queen! You don't have to win me about anything. Very well. The court will decide whether the plaintiff, Detective Sherlock Holmes, had his name stolen from the Conan Doyle estate. We have received your letter, Mr. Sholmes, and we accept your legal challenge. We at the Conan Doyle estate will humbly accept the verdict from the court. Oh, great! So it's you buffoons who are up to this charade. We have Professor Layton and his mini sidekick, hmm? <clears throat> Professor who? Oh, uh, I lost my temper there for a spell. Well, what of this barbarous attitude from the plaintiff? This man is just despicable. He wishes for nothing more than to step on the secure rights of the Sherlock Holmes story. It is worth acknowledging the Conan Doyle estate's right to the Sherlock Holmes property indeed. I hear the stories are already being read by everybody in the city. I believe I can effectively prove otherwise, my good sir. No, detective. You can only prove that they stole your name. Right? Egads! A simple mistake. But I am sorry. I cannot prove that they are not being read by everybody in the city. Right. And now for the Conan Doyle estate's legal representative, Mr. McGilded and Mr. Fairplay. Who is your legal counsel? I bought the best representative money could buy. That's enough bickering from this court, you hear? 
I don't want to hear a single peep from you three again. I have political aspirations. Don't try me. I'll speak to the head of the Bar Association and have your badge. Sir, I am your legal representative on the matter of Mr. Herlock's namesake. If I'm not supposed to speak again, how am I supposed to represent myself? Just shoot them in the chest. Easy. Bailiff, please escort the young girl with the pistol post haste. No, please. I, I will not show it again. Mr. Soames, I am beginning to lose faith in the conduct of your legal team. Fair play, my good man. Just give me a moment to regain composure. Let's carry on with the trial, shall we? I don't have all day to waste on this. Mm, indeed. Would the plaintiff of this trial please begin with their opening statement? Well, it's quite simple, really. This morning, I noticed that my name had been altered in my passport. My good lodger, Iris, told me that representatives of the estate came to her and forced her to sign away the rights of my name. My actual name! At gunpoint, no less. Do you see that these men are totally inept and unqualified to be bursting into my flat and taking control of my own name and then have the audacity to immediately write stories about a detective who solves crimes in London? It's a total mockery of storytelling and deduction! A farcical tale! I tell you, they are bastards! And that's all IKG wrote, Your Honor. Plaintiff, your account of the situation has become far too uncivilized for a court of law. You must exhibit professional behavior. Do you understand? How pathetic. This man wouldn't even know what manners are. Is this a man American? I am devastated. Defendant, taking what you will from the detective, how do you respond to the allegations made against the actions on behalf of the estate? <coughs> well, it's clear to me and my constituents that Herlock Soames has claimed something that no man can own. A story of a clever detective solving preposterous cases that would boggle the mind of any common man. Mr. Fairplay, my name is Sherlock Holmes, not Herlock Sholmes. Stop teasing my poor taxpaying self. I believe paying taxes was the one thing you would refuse, is it not? Not now, Miss Mikotoba. Your Honor, the plaintiff has declared ownership of a story we created just a short while ago. The Conan Doyle estate has done no such thing as clinching a basic right from this good detective. No need to compliment the man. He's wasting his own time bringing us to trial. Here, why don't you take some compensation for your expenses, detective? You are lucky that I am so willing to share my incredible wealth. Oh, but of course. No such distribution of wealth will occur in my courtroom. Mr. McGilded, I suggest you refrain from initiating an exchange of money. Unless you are willing to share some with me. <coughs> it is most important to note that Mr. Herlock Soames' name is quite different to that of our fictional character, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. You see, it is quite impossible for the estate to have stolen the plaintiff's name when the name is nothing but a separate entity. Isn't it obvious that they changed a few letters around? We do not have the time to discuss the complicated copyright laws of this nation, Miss Iris. Now that both perspectives have been established, the court will now- OBJECTION! Just wait a moment, Your Honor. Consider the facts of the case. What facts? You mentioned that your flatmate signed a legal document that allegedly transferred the rights of your name to the estate. Why don't we have a look at this legal document, hmm? 
This is an avenue we must go down. Mr. McGilded and Mr. Fairplay, whoever has the document must present it to the court immediately. Sure thing, Your Honor. However, the document is in Russian. Due to this unreasonable court case, the estate has not had the proper time to translate it into English. Russian? And why would the document be written in Russian? We deemed it essential to the consistency of our writing process for other stories. Our veteran writers are all of Russian nationality and write their manuscripts exclusively in their native tongue. It is a tradition, your honor, and a very scholarly one at that. I find this rather difficult to believe. What do you say? Seems like an excuse. As a gentleman, excuses are something of a disdain on my conduct, and thus I would never fool a man such as yourself. <laughs> Mr. Sholmes here. He's struggling to step on his foes because he has such little support. You're lucky to have such a generous defendant, Detective. <laughs> Perhaps a stipend in your name would help. I can oblige. Hmm, quite right, quite right. No, 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 I am quite fine. So you are telling the truth. Very good, sir. Oh, the humanity, this poor detective. <laughs> Irish, was it not? Are you able to read in Russian? No, I cannot. Then it appears to be an illegent mid-practice on behalf of the defendant, having her sign the detective's namesake away to the Conan Doyle estate. A splendid inspection! Now give me my name back! Now you just wait a moment! Your Honor, it may appear that the estate had tricked the detective's flatmate into an unwanted bargain, but do entertain the other possibilities. Namely, the plaintiff cannot prove that the document had any jargon pertaining to the rights of the Sherlock Holmes name in it. How can a penniless man prove such a thing? It would be a shame to trust a document that cannot be read by this court. Very good, very good. It appears the plaintiff's argument has been reduced to rubble. Egads! Was it not the legal representative who just proposed we examine this document? Oh, well, you see, the document was, uh, updated. What? Hmm? I beg your pardon? The document was updated? What say you there? Mr. McGilded, present the updated document. Oh, why, uh, yes, uh, of course. <laughs> Here it is, the new document. No, the updated document. <laughs> With the best ink, my fortune could buy. Um, is this truly the best idea, uh, Mr. McGilded? Shut it, let me handle this. <laughs> this revision states that Mr. Sholmes has agreed to pay the Conan Doyle estate 500 pounds in exchange for his namesake. Mr. McGilded, do you understand what you are suggesting? Your Honor, my client is suggesting that the detective is to blame for the loss of his own name. This is the first I'm hearing of this. The estate has refused to accept this reality until now. You've admitted it, have you not? Your name was officially stolen. It's on the record for the court to witness. I'm quite confused, you see. The estate has made it clear that the name Sherlock Holmes was never taken from anybody. Objection! The document suggests otherwise. It was updated with consent from the little girl. That is not how any of this legal nonsense works. This is an outrage. But it is. It is exactly what occurred. I should also mention that I paid the plaintiff off to foil this case. I have much to give the world, you see. A kind for all. What? What in blazes are you talking about? 
No, no. Are we sure this is the right direction to take? I am quite unsure about this. Mr. Sholmes, do you refute what the estate has claimed? I refute everything about you and your rubbish estate. I'm going to come over there and... Mr. Holmes, I mean Mr. Sholmes, your conduct has gone far past what this court is willing to accept. I will have your case thrown out if you act out again. <laughs> right. Of course. Now what are we supposed to do? The estate has effectively confused his honor and has manipulated the facts of the case. I don't think we can do much at this point. Perhaps we should go home. Miss Bikotoba, I believe you are my last hope here. Well, I do have an idea. If the estate is comfortable with destroying the integrity of the court, then I shall defeat them at their game. Your Honor, confusion has befallen the court on a myriad of issues. I believe clarity is what you seek. Yes, that would be wonderful. And what might you suggest? I suggest the estate answer us a simple but perplexing question. Who exactly is this Conan Doyle? What? Ah! Yes, Mikotoba! The representatives of the estate cannot seem to agree if Mr. Holmes' name was exchanged or not, and cannot agree to whether the document is legitimate. However, let's return to the issue of legal rights. If the estates never look towards the detective for the name of a new story, as Mr. Fairplay claimed, then what was the origin for the name Sherlock Holmes? It is rather simple when you look at it, really. The name of our story originates from our most prestigious writer, Mr. Arthur Conan Doyle. Oh! oh. I see. And what of this? Your Honor, I happen to have a massive collection of Sherlock Holmes novels, and the writer's name is clearly stated as... John H. Watson. <laughs> it is never stated that Mr. Conan Doyle wrote these stories, or that the estate has the rise to the name to begin with. Perhaps with the dishonest approach to crediting writers as seen there, the estate may be more likely to be dishonest about the origin of this character's name. Ma'am, the Conan Doyle estate has just released a statement about this matter, and I believe you should hear it. The story, all names, characters, and incidents portrayed in our stories are fictitious. No identification with actual persons, living or deceased, is intended or should be inferred. But all of the stories I write about Holmesies are based on real events! What evidence do you have to suggest the estate has followed through? That detail is entirely irrelevant, little girl. All that matters is that the estate has a contract. A legally binding document of total perfection. The document was updated during this trial. You are pulling my leg, you hear? I cannot follow this case at all. Ah, I believe I have figured it out. And what might that be? Just one moment, please. Mr. McGilded, was it not you who wrote on a document during this very trial? Me? Of course! I do not recognize any relevance to this fact. Aha! Yes, I can deduce it from here, Miss Bikotoba. Oh, well, if you must. The contradiction involving the writing of these stories. A man named Conan Doyle. You see here, it would make an awful lot of sense for you to be Mr. Doyle. Well, what are you yabbering about? You wrote during this very trial. The penmanship was utter garbage. But more importantly, John H. Watson was confirmed to be the writer of these stories. Never mind the fact that it's just a character writing his perspective which was actually written by a real author. And so, there is no proof that Conan Doyle is a real person. Something about this episode lacks a lot of truth. Mr. McGilded, 
Is Conan Doyle not your pen name? Um, um, it is my pen name. <laughs> I can't make sense of this madness. Can I shoot him now? I believe we can officially declare my name as stolen by this horrid organization. Well, I am not so sure, detective. What? Ah, uh, I thought we were succeeding. Your Honor, Mr. Sholmes has gone far off track. He is altering the facts of this case. I concur. Detective, I will not allow you to continue with such baseless conjecture. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Oh, ho, ho, Mr. Sholmes, you are quite the performing artist. Mr. Sholmes, Mr. Sholmes, what a horrid little man you are. Good heavens, for the last time, my name is Mr. Sherlock Holmes. No, you are lying to this cart once again. Nonsense! I will have you know that Theresa May will travel back in time and kick your arse. Knock it off, both of you! No matter what you do, we have this contract. I can call you Herlock Sholmes as much as I desire. Herlock Sholmes! Herlock Sholmes! Herlock Sholmes! Mr. McGilded? You! Of a in a little drunzed in of a bastard. Well, I never, Detective Sherlock Holmes, you have really gone and done it, haven't you? I hereby declare this case thrown out! No! Uh. <laughs> right now I am absolutely brimming with the intense desire to kick down this door. So, this is where they operate? Yes, but let's hurry and take back Holmesy's name. It's been a couple hours already. All right. Well, I sincerely hope they have already arrived. I would like to have a word with them. It was your outburst in the courtroom that created such a disastrous loss for the plaintiff's case, was it not? Right. But I cannot fathom losing something as important as my own name. Unfair play! They killed it! Show yourself, cowards! Ah, you again! I believe the judge has already declared your name to be Sholmes, so I see no reason for you being here. Never mind that. Where is that Luke Triton-looking fellow? He is in his writing chamber, working on The Adventure of the Speckled Band 2. Roylott returns. Okay. That's it. I'm dealing with him myself. Now that just leaves us with you, unfair play. Even if you attempt to threaten me with violence, we still hold the copyright for your name. Then I'll scour this entire estate top to bottom until I find it. Ah! Now, my good sir, it would be best to take a step back and catch your breath. Everything will be just fine. Uh. Well, sometimes you just have to fight fire with fire, right? No oh, heavens! Please do not shoot that gun! Oh, don't worry. This was just a distraction. Now, Miss Mikotoba! Ah! 
That was the Susato takedown. Ah, here it is. The document that claims ownership of the name Sherlock Holmes. We've done it. That's superb. Ah, oh, what a relief. It would be best if I ordered a new passport now. Huzzah! Now, we may have had to inconvenience damn near everybody in London. But I finally have what is rightfully mine. I can solve cases once more. <laughs> yep, I think my next story will be about this wild adventure we had. I will gladly read your script, Miss Iris. Hooray! Who is coming our way? Ah, that's our good friend, Adrian B. Meterman. I can tell by his footsteps. Excuse me, mister. I've been tasked with playing the mailman again. And here you are. It's from the Conan Doyle estate. That's where we are now. We just attacked, uh, I mean, talked to the estate people. Well, I don't know, but you better take a good look, sir. I'm being sued? What the devil is this about? You've been served. I've decided. I don't like you. And that brings us to the end of our story. How a hundred years of intense legal battles began.